Despite the sell-off in yesterday's session, equities are still trading near all-time highs. So can gold keep up in these conditions? Joining me today is Frank Holmes, CEO of U.S. Global Investors. Frank, welcome back. Hey, it's great to be back. I miss you. Yes. Well, I love the energy. Uh, let's look at the gold market here, Frank. It remains quiet ahead of the Fed's decision, hovering around 1311 here. Where do you see it heading after the Fed? Well, I think there's lots of this pairs trading, uh, parity trading that basically depresses gold going into that. And after we finally get the rate rise behind this, gold pops. So that's my gambling bet based on looking at patterns for the past uh, year and a half. Uh, I also think that you have to look at the bank credit analysts who I really tremendously have a lot of respect. They're totally independent and they're very bearish now on the dollar. Uh, it doesn't matter what Kudlow says. Uh, you know, he's just uh, rigid that the dollar is going to rise and hide up all the sins and gold will fall and, and to put tariffs on China. Uh, the tariffs on China is actually going to weaken the dollar, which is good for gold. Uh, and the concern is stagflation uh, that we're going to witness. And I've been saying on the program for a while now, I believe that a lot of the CPI numbers are understated. So even with rising yeah. interest rates, gold trades higher. I'm happy you brought up uh, Kudlow because he really did come out with a strong statement, you know, king dollar, sell your gold. Uh, does that concern you? No, no, because he did in 2002, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, he did it all through on the CNBC on a regular basis when I was on the program. Uh, so he, he's very caught up with this mantra, but Art Laffer is another person I have lots of respect for, and he doesn't think that tariffs are good for the dollar, and he doesn't believe that tariffs are good for economic development. Uh, and so I, I disagree with him, but we'll see, because he was bearish on gold from 300 to 900. All right, so how do you feel investors should see the yellow metal in today's environment of these high valuations and increasing volatility? What role does it play for you, Frank? Well, I think it's always a key 10% of your portfolio rebalance every year. I think that's really key since year 2000 when Cudlow hated gold. Uh, gold has gone up 200% over the S&P 500. Hello with that one. And uh, and then last year was up 13% and everyone said that the dollar was going to be strong. I don't think so. And I think that the reality is we're going to have a weaker dollar, which is good for emerging markets, and it's good for the gold business. But and I also very positive to see there's two big takeovers taking place in the mid-cap gold space. And that's good for the gold stocks because you're going to see a recycling of those dollars. Mm, all right. So you think that we should be able to break out of this range after this Fed meeting? I'm holding my hat to 1500 by year end. A year ago, I said I thought it'd be 1350 right. And now I think it's 1500 Okay, we'll see. If you're right, Frank, thanks so much for joining us. And thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow.